Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video today. So I'm gonna get right into it. I'm starting with a 20 ounce skinny from the Stainless Depot. And I'm going to use 180 grit sandpaper and lightly sand the whole cup. Um, the best way to explain this is when you go and get your nails done, they prep your nails before they paint and apply designs, whatever it may be. It's kind of the same thing with this tumbler. You wanna remove any oils or coatings that may be on the cup, so your cup really has a good adhesion when you apply the vinyl or the paint or epoxy, whatever it may be. So I always sand all of my cups before I move into whatever process I'm doing next. So for this cup, I'm wrapping the cup in vinyl and because I'm printing it at home, I really wanna make sure that my measurements are right. So I'm just taking this measuring tape and wrapping it around the cup. I know that I need it to be, I think it was 9.25 inches wide and then eight inches tall. So I'm using 631 removable vinyl in a matte white. It doesn't have to be removable, but it does have to be matte white if you're printing it with your laser printer. If you don't have a laser printer, I really can't help you. I'm not sure the best way to do this. So once I printed it on the vinyl, I am sealing it with water-based polyacrylic. And I feel like this is just a bit stronger than a spray sealant. You could definitely use a spray sealant. And I think it's just gonna kinda give me a more durable piece of vinyl. I know that I'm not gonna scrape any of that ink off. I'm not gonna lose any of my images. And when I start maneuvering the vinyl, it's going to be more durable, if that makes sense. So I only did one coat of that water-based poly acrylic. I let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm just cutting off the excess pieces of vinyl. So I'll wrap it around, make sure everything is exactly the right dimensions and then I'll start applying it to the cup. To do that, I remove about one inch of vinyl from the paper backing, and then I'm just gonna line it up on the cup, make sure that top white strip lines up with the top of the cup. So everything should be straight. I hope that makes sense. I'm just using this vinyl scraper tool that I got off Amazon and um, my thumbs and just kind of rotating that cup. And as I rotate the cup, it kind of does the work for me. So between using my thumbs to rotate it and then the vinyl scraper, I'm just smoothing it out all over the cup. And because I'm using the 631 removable vinyl, it's going to be a little bit easier to lift up if I have to fix a piece. And I won't have to worry about stretching that vinyl out because the adhesion on the back isn't as strong as a permanent vinyl. So I wrapped it all the way around the cup. I had about a quarter of an inch of an overhang. So right there it overlapped. I just kind of ran my thumb across it so I could see the seam. And then I took my craft knife and just cut that excess strip off. And for the most part, this whole cup wrapped perfectly straight. My seams lined up. Um, you really want to make sure that you don't have any curve to your tumbler. This would be really hard to do on a tumbler that wasn't straight. Your seams definitely would not line up. So I'm just smoothing everything out right now and I'm going to use my heat gun on the edges and that's just going to kind of help smooth it out. It's going to make it easier to kind of push those pieces over the edge and really make sure that everything is nice and smooth, completely sealed to the cup. I've got this handy dandy little cup edging tool from the Wicked Shimmer. I'll have that linked in the description as well. And what's really neat about this is you can adjust the height of that razor blade so you can have your edge be as thick or as thin as you want it. And you literally just sit your cup on top and rotate it across that razor blade. And you're left with this perfectly straight, beautiful edge. Look at that, you guys. So straight and so clean and crisp. So repeat it on the top and the bottom, and then you will be ready to apply the glitter to those stainless steel rim. 
I'm just using a painter's tape to tape off the vinyl. This is just to protect it from the paint and the glitter that I'm getting ready to apply. Um, if you wanted to, you could tape off the whole cup and just spray paint the top and the bottom. Um, really, it's personal preference, whatever, whatever you like to do, whatever your favorite way of applying glitter is. For me, I don't mind the painting process, so I'm using a primer. You could use any primer here. Like I said, you could just use a white spray paint. You could go straight into your purple spray paint. Whatever your heart desires. It's, it's really, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, the only reason I'm putting a white base on it is because I really want that purple to pop. I want to see purple over the white. It's gonna be more of a true purple, if that makes sense, than just painting the purple over the stainless steel. Again, you could use spray paint. You could use epoxy to apply your glitter. You could use Mod Podge, whatever your heart desires. So anyways, moving on, I painted the white. I let that dry for about 15 minutes and then I came in with a purple acrylic paint and painted right over it. I'll let that dry for about 15, 20 minutes and then I'll do another coat of acrylic. So, while my first coat of purple acrylic was drying, I was really kind of, uh, that little spot right there. He was missing his eye. It wasn't matching up. It was bugging me. So I just came in with a black um, acrylic paint marker from Arteza and I just kind of gave him a little eyeball and I felt like everything was more proportionate now. <laughs> so then I was ready for the second coat of acrylic paint and I just did a nice thick even coat. Obviously you don't want globs, you don't want it dripping, but you do want a nice thick coat. And I immediately applied this purple glitter right over the acrylic paint. The acrylic paint is going to be thick enough and sticky enough that your glitter is going to stick to it. You won't have to worry about it coming off or anything like that. So paint your acrylic paint and then immediately apply your glitter right over that. Make sure you tap off the excess, and then as soon as you're done applying glitter, remove that painter's tape so nothing dries, you won't have any issues removing that, and you should be left with a really clean, crisp line of glitter. I was done for the night. Um, you would definitely want to let this paint dry for at least two to three hours before you move into the next step. For the next step, I'm sealing this glitter with water-based poly acrylic, the same poly acrylic that I used for the vinyl, and I'm just giving it a nice, generous coat. You could use a spray sealant. I just really think that poly acrylic helps seal everything in. It's gonna prevent any stray glitter from moving when we apply the epoxy. We're not gonna be dragging it onto the vinyl or anything like that. So one nice thick coat over your glitter let that dry for at least two to three hours before you move into the epoxy. If you guys want a video on sealing your whole tumbler with polyacrylic, I'll link it here. But you can see that if I was just to apply the epoxy, that glitter's moving. I definitely wanna keep all those stray pieces there. I don't wanna see them on the vinyl. So the polyacrylic is really gonna seal that glitter in and not let it move at all. So again, let it dry two to three hours and then we'll be ready to move into our first coats of epoxy resin. I mixed up 30 milliliters of counterculture DIY artist resin. I'm only gonna use about 15 on this cup. So I'll put the first coat on and then let that spin for four hours, let it cure for at least six to eight. And then I went straight into a second coat. So here it is after the second coat, and for the most part, it's really smooth. My edges are a little bit rough, um, so I wanna clean up the top of it. I'm just gonna use 220 grit sandpaper and lightly rub it against the top of the cup. 
and smooth out any glitter that might be poking up and really make sure that the rims are nice and smooth. I'm looking to sand down just a small, very fine line of glitter and paint so that there's a line of stainless steel exposed at the top. I don't know if you guys can see that on the video, but right there, that little line, I wanna expose just a little bit of stainless steel and that's gonna give our final coats of epoxy really something to adhere to. So quick sanding over the whole cup, make sure everything is smooth, focus on the top and the bottom, and then you're ready for your final coats of epoxy. I ended up doing one more coat after this, um, 15 milliliters total, and then it was done. So here she is, super easy, super fast, really, really cute vinyl wrapped tumbler, you guys. If you make something similar to this or if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you guys are creating. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them in the comment section. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.